Hello beautiful people, let's get started with today's look. I use my Fenty Skin Fat Water After Cleanser Before Face Moisturizer. For primer on the face, I use my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, and for the eyes, I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. As a base, I'm using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime, and this is in shade number two. We're starting off by grabbing the Sugar Pill Fun Size 2 palette. And I'm going to be grabbing the shade Grind. I'm going to be focusing this in my crease and then also on the outer portion of the lid. So I'm just first using a tapping motion to really help build up that color and to really just get the placement correct. And then you'll see that I'll start moving into a swiping motion to help diffuse out the edges. Going into my Sugar Pill Capsule Collection, I'm picking up the shade Insomniac and I'm going to be focusing this on the lid. So I'm going to be using a flat brush because I really want to define the crease as you can see how I'm kind of carving out that area. Going back into the Fun Size 2 palette, I'm picking up the shade Grind, and I'm going to be using this just to close off that outer two-thirds of the, or outer third, excuse me, outer third of the lid. I'm going to be just doing that to diffuse out the edges, and then also I'm going in with a smaller detail brush. This is going to help further define the crease right above that green shimmer shade that I placed on the lid. Grabbing my Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette, I'm going to be picking up the shade Squad. So I'm using this first to create a line on the lash line. So I'm being super careful with this. I'm just putting, like using a pressing motion just to control how much of the pigment is being put down. And then in the middle portion of my crease, I'd say slightly above where my natural crease is because when I look forward, I still want you to be able to see the graphic liner detail. That is where I'm going to just follow that line and I'm going to go back to the lash line area and just wing it out. You can see kind of how it connects with my lower lash line. So I'm just winging out that area and just defining that graphic liner. For something like this, you're definitely going to want to use an eyeshadow that has a kick in that pigment. So that's why I'm going in with my Colored Rain eyeshadow because I know it'll get the job done. Also using an angled brush or a flat brush helps a lot with just placing the eyeshadow down. Here I'm just wiping away any of the excess eyeshadow that may have fallen on the lid or around the crease when I put that graphic liner down. And touching up whatever shades may need it as well. And it also helps with just cleaning up that front area of the graphic liner. In my Henri Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, you guys know the usual, I'm going in with the shade New Yorker. I'm using this because it's close to my complexion and it's going to help cancel out that white cast from the eyeshadow base that I had put down. Going in with a makeup remover wipe, I'm just going to clean up the edges of my eye look. and any other areas where I may have gotten a little bit too carried away with that eye primer or eye base. Now I'm going in with my color correcting stick and I'm going to apply this in any of the areas where I have hyperpigmentation. I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend it out. To set it, I'm going in with my KVD Translucent Setting Powder. Now 
Then I'm going to be using my LA Girl Tinted Foundation, and this is in the shade Walnut. I also do want to say that this is a light to medium coverage foundation, so that's why I go in with a color corrector in the areas where I know I have hyperpigmentation because I know it's going to shine through, um, if you want to say that way, shine through show <laughs> on the layer of foundation. Depending on how much I put on, I know that it's going to show, so that's why I like to use a color corrector when I'm using this foundation. And like I said, it is um, light to medium coverage, so it's one of those things where it's like you're going to put on a little, see how much the coverage is for you, like if you like it, and then if not, you can always go back in, as I am doing now, and just add more coverage in the areas where you feel is needed. For contour, I'm using my Oma Beauty Double Take Duo Stick, and this is in the shade 3. For concealer, I'm going in with Juvia's Place. Let me double check the number so it is in the shade number 9. I also, I don't know how often I say this, but I do let the product sit on my face for 10 minutes before I start blending it out. I start blending out the contour first, and then after that, I go in and blend out my concealer. Um, I'm still using a damp beauty blender for this part. The reason why I like to let those products sit on my face is because I want to get maximum coverage from it. So that's why I like to leave it on before I go in and blend everything out. Whatever excess foundation is on the bottom of the beauty blender, I'll use that to clean up the edges of my concealer and the areas where it starts to create a harsh line. I'm using the excess concealer on the beauty blender to help carve out underneath my cheekbones. With the nose contour, I like to use just as much product as needed, so you guys are seeing me go in with a smaller beauty blender to help diffuse out the areas where I put my contour product, but I like to create, um, just keep the contour right at the top of the nose, like where the brows are, and then at the bottom, because I notice when I carry a straight line down the nose, it just creates like... I don't know, it doesn't feel as natural as if I just created the contour in just the above and bottom portion of the nose. So I just like to create a little bit more of like an accentuated shape, but at the same time still keep it as soft as possible. The 
the set i'm going in with my crankcase chalk dust in the letter n and my kvd locket translucent powder i like to mix both of these together because i like the color of the crankcase and then i like the consistency of the kvd powder so mixed together it's just chef's kiss perfect mix I am using a damp beauty blender to apply it to the skin. To set everywhere else on the face, so I was just setting the areas where I had concealed. To set everywhere else, I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep. I like to go in with an eyeshadow brush on the nose contour just to help a get a more focused product uh, placement for that area. I forgot to show you guys the product, so here it is. Moving on to Colored Rain, I'm going to be using their bronzer, and this is in the shade Naughty Spice. I'm going to go in with my setting spray. I'm going to spray it first, fan off a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender, still damp, and pressing everything into the skin. Off camera, I did my brows, but I used the Crankcase Eyebrow Pomade, and it's in the shade Dark Brown. Grabbing my Fun Size 2 palette again from Sugar Pill, I'm picking up the shade Grind, and I'm going to be focusing this on the lower lash line. From ColourPop, I'm grabbing their gel liner, and this is in, in the shade Electric Daisy, and I'm going to be putting this in my waterline. From LA Girl, I'm going to be using their glitter. This is in Gold Digger, so what I like to do is I just tap my finger in there and I just gently place it on the lid. I like to use it very um, loosely. Like I'm not packing it on. I like to just get like a little bit of a shimmer moment on the lid. So that's why I'm just going in with it in a very light handed way and just placing it as needed. Then for mascara, I'm going in with Oma Beauty Drama Bomb Mascara. For lashes, we're going to be using Sugar Pill today. This is in the style Cinescent. Now I'm grabbing my Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2, grabbing the shade B, and I'm going to be using this for today's blush.
And for highlight, I'm actually going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrizi highlight. I know I'm always using the mirror, but today we're actually going to be using the product as well. For lip liner, I'm going to be using Edible from Melt Cosmetics. I'm going to be grabbing my Fenty Beauty Stunna, Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unveil and this is such a beautiful shade like I've had it for a while finally got around to using it and I was just like girl use it more hello it's beautiful and I'm going in with my setting spray to complete this look and I'm going to fan off after spraying it and press everything into the skin again with my beauty blender And here is a completed look. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bless up. And until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye, guys.